Burlington Public Library presents The Grab and Go Garden, a seed growing time lapse video. We would like to acknowledge that Burlington Public Library is located on the ancestral and treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation of the Anishinaabe peoples. And we would like to express our gratitude as they continue to share their ancestral lands with us. Welcome to the Burlington Public Library's time-lapse seed video, featuring the early growth of beans, radishes, and carrot seeds. In the first half of our video, you can see bean seeds emerging from the soil. But first, let's talk about what a seed is, and what it needs to germinate, and what a seedling needs to grow. Seeds are dormant, or inactive plants. Inside the hard shell of a seed is a living thing, a baby plant, or embryo, that when conditions are right, will start to grow. This is called germination. To germinate, seeds need water, oxygen, and the proper temperature. The seeds of different types of plants have different temperatures that will best allow them to germinate. Bean seeds, like the one here, prefer warm soil. Seeds in the second half of the video are happy to germinate in cold soil that might still be a bit frosty. These are important things to keep in mind when planting your garden in the spring. Some seeds need light, most prefer darkness. Once the conditions are right, the seed will take in water through the seed coat, that hard outer shell. The water causes the embryo inside the shell to swell and enlarge, breaking open the shell like a baby bird hatching from an egg. The embryo contains the baby plant and enough food for the plant to grow until it can start to absorb and make its own food. This is the reason why humans and other animals eat the seeds of many plants. This food store can be rich in many nutrients and minerals and very calorie dense. The first thing to emerge from the seed coat is the radical. This is another word for root. This first root anchors the seed into the ground and begins to absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Next, the pumule or shoot emerges. This contains the leaf and stem of the plant. The shoot pushes its way above the soil Shoots of bean seeds like the one in this video contain three parts. These parts protect the new leaves as they rise through the earth and then straighten out when they are above the ground. The first leaves to emerge are the seed leaves. These first leaves look different from the next set of leaves or true leaves and will fall away once the plant is established. Seedlings and seeds have slightly different needs. While seeds may need darkness to begin to grow, once they have germinated and produced a root and stem, they need light and darkness in the proper ratio. If seedlings do not have enough light, they will grow leggy and pale and will not grow to their best potential. The energy that should be put into growing nice green leaves goes into growing the stem as it reaches for any available light. But seedlings still need a period of darkness, just as we do. While they may not sleep in the darkness like us, they switch functions. They switch from photosynthesizing, which is how plants make food from sunlight, to using that food for growth and repair. You'll notice an interesting thing in the bean leaves at night. They droop. Then as soon as the sun hits them, they spring up again, and it looks a little like wings flapping. This is a process called nyctinasty. It occurs in plants in the bean family and a few others. Plants actually have specialized leaves at the base of their cells that act like hinges, using water pressure inside the cells to pop the leaves up in the sun's rays, or to let them droop at night. Not all plants do this, and scientists are still not completely sure why it happens. Our second set of seedlings did not grow quite as robustly as the beans we first planted. There are two types of plants you can see sprouting here, radishes and carrots. The radishes are the first to come up. But for some reason, probably to do with the lighting, they didn't produce a nice round root, but instead stretched out above the soil. Radishes grow quickly, so in your home garden, they're a great vegetable to plant early in the spring, and within 30 days, you can be eating a nice crunchy radish. Carrots take about twice as long to reach an edible stage. You can see their frondy leaves just starting to emerge at the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and lesson on seeds and seedlings. Please check out our book lists at vpl.on.ca for more detailed information about seeds, gardening, and plants in general.